I wanted to do two videos on uh, this housing covenant situation. The first one is in the financial uh, hypocrisy of the situation. And the second one is kind of on what I believe to be the ethics of the manor. So I'll do the financial hypocrisy first. And actually, I want to bring into question the bailouts, the recent bailouts of the banks in America. So SVB Bank and Signature Bank were recently bailed out. Now, the FIDIC in America insures deposits up to 250 grand in those banks. So actually what they're doing is they're bailing out very wealthy people with deposits much higher than 250 grand. Now what they've done there is they've allowed um, treasuries to, you, they've allowed the banks to borrow against treasuries, even if the price is stressed and drops really low, they can borrow at par value, at the value they bought them at essentially, right? And um, the Fed or the government will give them that money, right? So there's a situation for the rich people in America. That's how that works. Now let's compare that to the housing situation from 2008 to now. So after 2008, house prices got stressed and the prices went down, right? The governments took our taxpayer money and put it into the banks, AIB, Bank of Ireland, etc. right? Then those banks had assets or mortgages against those properties and the price of those properties had dropped. So those mortgages became stressed, right? So over time, they rolled them into NAMA, right? And then over time, they sold them off to what we call vulture funds, right? So as opposed to the situation in America where they bail out the millionaires, in this situation, there was no bailout. Now, what could have happened there was that the government said, OK, we will, we will bail out those people with those properties, make sure we hold those mortgages on the books of those now state-owned banks until the price of those mortgages goes back again and those people can get out of arrears. That would be the equivalent situation with the housing situation, but that didn't happen. What actually happened was the assets were sold off the banks, books, and they were sold to vulture funds. And now instead of um, those people who were in arrears paying their four or five percent, they're paying nine or ten percent, and again under stress and being pushed into arrears. So there's one rule for the very, very wealthy and another rule for the normal person. And this could very well happen again in Ireland. Apologies for being a bit sweaty. I was thinking about